Nintendo Switch currently is one of the hardest consoles which you can emulate on Android devices. So I thought why not test it in all of the devices which I have owned over these years making YouTube videos. So I went out and found the oldest devices which I have ever owned and this is one of them. This is the Realme 1 with Helio P60 processor 3GB RAM and I haven't used this phone in the past 3 years. Let's try to turn this on and see if it actually boots or not. If it doesn't boot then I won't be able to test. But here here we go guys, 3 years of no use and still this device boots, let's try loading Skyline emulator on this device and I'll be back. So guys here is our lineup and unfortunately guys I tried loading the Skyline emulator on my realme 1 but as my device has android 9, Skyline emulator does not actually support it. Uh, the minimum requirements of Skyline emulator are Android 10 or above and if I try lowering the SDK version of the emulator and try installing then the app will just crash. There is no use of testing the Skyline emulator in Realme 1 as it doesn't even support Android 9.0. But here we go guys, this is our lineup, this is my Redmi Note 7 with Snapdragon 660 processor, 4GB RAM and uh, I used this uh, device to create many emulator videos. I bought this device in 2019, so this is 3 plus uh, year old device. And moving on the list, we have the Samsung Galaxy F41. Uh, this device has 6GB of RAM, Exynos 9611 processor and proper mid-range device. Nothing special about it, uh, just an Exynos processor, so let's see how it holds. With the Skyline emulator and Sonic Mania. But anyways moving on we have the IQ7 legend everyone knows I use this as my primary device. Uh, this has Snapdragon 888 processor and 8GB of RAM so nothing to worry about and flagship processor which is easily capable of emulating Nintendo Switch games on Android. So that's the lineup guys, uh, here we go, we will be testing the Sonic Mania on these three devices and don't forget guys uh, that the Sonic Mania is the lowest end 2D uh, Nintendo Switch game but anyways let's try opening Skyline emulator uh, on Samsung Galaxy F41 and Redmi Note 7 at the same time and I can see that F41 loaded a bit faster. Uh, if you guys know then Exynos processor aren't good for emulation but the Snapdragon processor are really good. But anyways I have opened the Skyline emulator on all three of my devices. But before starting be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications because I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest videos. And here you can see that I have disabled the frame throttling option. By the way on my Redmi Note 7 I am using an old build of Skyline emulator as uh, if I try using the latest build you can see here that I will get 0 FPS and a black screen. So unfortunately the latest build of Skyline emulator did not work on Redmi Note 7 so I had to install the oldest uh, build which worked on Redmi Note 7 and here we go guys this build uh, properly uh, works on redmi note 7 with sonic mania and graphical output so this is the game which has opened and let's try to see the amount of fps that we are getting it is very hard to see but uh, we are getting about 10 fps on redmi note 7 and four year old uh, mid-range device uh, and it can still emulate Nintendo Switch game on it which is impressive but not that impressive because uh, Sonic Mania is the lowest of the low end 2D uh, Nintendo Switch game but anyways 10 FPS in Sonic Mania let's keep my Redmi Note 7 aside. Now let's move on with the Samsung Galaxy F41 and I know many of you guys own this mid-range device so uh, it will also give us a basic idea of how this emulator works on the unsupported uh, I mean not unsupported, unoptimized processors like Exynos and MediaTek, uh, you, you will get uh, less FPS compared to that of any Snapdragon device. But here we go, Sonic Mania, let's click on play and let's find out how much FPS do we get. So here we go, black screen, okay. So the game has started, surprisingly. It went up to 60 FPS and it is slowly coming down to 20 FPS. Uh, the FPS just keeps on decreasing bro, what is this? It's, <laughs> it's on 18 FPS whereas my low end, 4 year old low end device was capable of running at uh, 10 to 12 FPS but okay, the, the game just crashed guys, the Sonic Mania just crashed and this is the problem. Uh, with this unoptimized processor, Skyline emulator doesn't work well at all and as I mentioned before guys, the Skyline emulator is also in alpha stage. If you want to emulate Nintendo Switch games, you will surely need a Snapdragon processor device. But here we go, I have reopened the Skyline emulator 
and again the game crash so i am guessing that in the latest build of skyline emulator uh, on samsung galaxy f41 with exynos processor the skyline emulator doesn't work or the sonic mania doesn't open so that's a disappointment but anyways we'll keep it aside this part here i have shown that on redmi note 7 the game is playable we can consider it playable uh, and if we tried, uh, I mean, if the optimized uh, latest build of Skyline Emulator worked on Redmi Note 7, then I would uh, be happy to tell you guys that I would have gotten like 20 to 25 FPS. Uh, because even in Again Simulator, which I tested out on my Redmi Note 7, I got like 25 to 30 FPS in Sonic Mania uh, on my Redmi Note 7. So we would have received the same amount of FPS in the latest build. But unfortunately, it didn't work on my device. But here we go guys, this is the behemoth right here, IQ7 Legend. Skyline Emulator is only capable of emulating 2D games at this moment, few 3D games as well. But anyways, we'll just go ahead and click on play on Sonic Mania and here we go guys. Straight up 100 plus FPS, this is what we like to see. If you want to emulate Nintendo Switch games, then yeah man, you just have to get a good device with latest Snapdragon processor or else it will be very disappointing as I already showed you guys. Uh, but again Skyline Emulator also crashed on this device. It's because I have disabled frame throttling on uh, this device. So due to that maybe uh, the emulator keeps on crashing. But anyways I have reopened the emulator. It, it is supposed to be working fine. So we'll just go ahead and start the game and the game is blazing fast. Like I'm really impressed whereas in my Redmi Note 7 you can see that it was just getting 10 FPS but here on my uh, IQ7 Legend we are straight up getting like 100 plus FPS easy. My guess is that if an high end flagship device is capable of uh, running 2D Nintendo Switch games at 100 FPS then maybe possibly I hope so that uh, when, uh, when the 3D games are playable on Skyline Emulator, games like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Pokemon Sword and Shield, Pokemon Legends, Arceus etc. I hope that we'll at least get like 15 to 20 FPS. That's my expectation uh, and I also hope that we'll be able to emulate 3D Nintendo Switch commercial games by the end of 2022. So in conclusion, I would like to say that if you have a high-end device, then no need to worry. The emulator will run perfectly fine. But if you have a mid-range device, it will be tricky, especially with uh, uh, unoptimized un processors like MediaTek or Exynos. But if you have a low-end device with Snapdragon processor, you can have at least 1-2% to of hope because that's all you got. <laughs> Nothing more. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Goodbye.